What's cracking lacking y'all? It's your girl Bianca Jordan and in today's video I want to talk about the skills game that you're able to play online. There's a lot of controversy about it but before I get into it make sure you hit the subscribe button below and make sure you hit the bell button that way you won't miss any of my content. So there's been advertisements talking about the skills game how you can play games against opponents online to win real money. Well one of the games I'm talking about today is Solitaire Cube. So Solitaire Cube is like the regular Solitaire, except with Solitaire Cube you're matching different cards up against an opponent and whoever matches up all the cards at the end wins the prize and basically all you have to do is match up the kings with the jacks and the queens and match everything up in order until you have no more cards left. So you get a duration of five minutes to play the game against your opponent. So you have to make as many matches as possible to beat your opponent. If the other opponent makes more matches than you do, then they win the game. If you make more matches than they do, then you win the game. So it's simple, it's just like that. So I'm gonna show you how to play the game. So it gives me all the cards here. And my job is to make sure I get the aces where the aces are supposed to be. And there you go, I got a six. I can't move the three, so I'm put a two there. Let's see what else I got in my deck. Queens, eights, Ks, nine, nine, three, three, four, seven, seven, Q, Q. Put the queen there. And all I need is a black jack. Aces right there. Yeah. Yeah, at this point, I don't think I have any moves. So I'm going to go ahead and end the game. I'm going to check one more time, but I'm going to end the game. Three, three, four, seven, seven, Q, three. Yeah, it all depends on what you get because sometimes it doesn't allow you to put certain cards in the rightful spots. Six, five, J. still haven't got that clover A yet. So I'm checking in the deck just to see if I have the clover A. And if I do have the clover A, I'm going to go ahead and put it in that A spot so I can continue with the game. It says I have three minutes left. I don't see any spots. Scores 420, time bonus 109, 529 was my total score. I'm gonna go back to the main screen. It says I'm on level two. So I see that Pearl is trying to get people to bid $600. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And it shows me the prizes awarded. So I'm gonna scroll down just to see what she's won want a lot of stuff right here so it's saying limited time offer ten dollars plus ten dollars bonus cash so let's just click next and this is how they get you they want you to pay ten dollars so they can see if you're gonna beat her and if you beat her you get the extra six hundred dollars on top of that plus the ten dollars that you already put in but if you lose you lose the ten dollars and that's that you have to go to another tournament to see if there's anybody else bidding or putting up money on the table so here's my honest thoughts on the game I think it's just a gimmick they just want you to put in money to see if you're gonna win against your opponent and nine times out of ten there might be an expert that's very good at the game that knows all the obstacles and if you lose you chuck up a loss 
So I wouldn't recommend this game to my friends or family. But if you want to play the game, go right ahead. Knock yourself out. So would I recommend the game? No, not really. But if you want to play, go ahead. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave a comment down below. Until then, see you next time. Peace out.